everyone and welcome to my channel okay so what the heck is this what why am i doing this the short version is that i enjoy cooking i found out recently and this channel is my outlet for that um how i came to find that out is a pretty long story but i'll try to keep it as short as possible so when i was in college i wanted to try cooking or at least you know I, I had my own appliances and you know I, that was the first time I really ever had that so I really wanted to try to try cooking you know for at least you know with frozen food or whatever and so I did that I also made breakfast a lot of breakfast stuff so I made a lot of eggs sausage bacon pancakes waffles even at one point I messed with the <laughs> with the sandwich maker and it was something <laughs> <laughs> I went a little crazy with it. At some point, I really wanted to try cooking for real. Um, I heard about this website where people were sharing recipes and it was called Pinterest. Ever heard of it? I clearly love taking pictures of my food. I love documenting it. That's just what I like to do. No matter what I was eating, no matter what I was, where I was at or anything, I just always took pictures of my food. I just enjoyed it. Um, I can go back years and years of just pictures and pictures of just food. And, you know, I think about how I felt when I ate it and, you know, just looking at it is, I, I'm, I'm a real foodie at heart, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but it is what I enjoy and I, and I just love eating it. I love looking at it and, you know, that's, that's just my thing. With that food comes memories, things that I was doing that day. Um, you know, I can remember something that I ate seven years ago and I can tell you what I was doing and how I ended up with it. And that's just me, like it just, it becomes a part of me. Now, in addition to taking pictures of my food, I am a very, very visual person. If I see it, then I can remember what it tastes like. I can remember a lot of different details about it. That's just how I am. Now, I was in college, remember, so I wasn't completely confident in my cooking skills yet. I believe I was 19 when um, I started going on this adventure. And, you know, I, I might have my roommates in every once in a while to have what I was having, um, whether it was like chicken or sandwiches or just breakfast in general. Um, it was just something that I enjoyed doing and making for them. And I always loved sharing. That was just who I was. Like, you know, when I was growing up, I, you know, I just learned that you don't eat in front of someone, uh, you know, and don't offer them food is impolite. And so, you know, whenever I was eating, as you know, I was hungry a lot, then I would always want to share my food. That's just how I was, that's how I was raised. Now, of course, like I said, I wasn't super confident in my cooking skills. So I knew that I had to learn eventually, but what I started doing is when I started learning Pinterest or figuring out how all that worked, I saw that people were sharing these recipes and I was like, well, you know, that's something that I would want to try. Um, I wasn't super confident in my skills, so I kind of just left it on the back burner. I didn't really touch it too much. Now, fast forward seven years later ish and you know, I'm starting to cook a lot more now. I'm finding out how much I really enjoy it now that I'm settled into my own place. I have my own kitchen with my own appliances. But part of doing this was also to just um, break this cycle of eating out. I ate out a lot after college because all I did was come home and, you know, sit down and think about what I wanted to eat for about five to 10 minutes. And then I would just go get it and eat it. Um, you know, I spent so much time just preparing for the next day or, you know, I would work late and then come home and be tired and, you know, I wanted to get through the evening so that I could go to sleep and then I had to focus on doing that because that was, that's tougher than me, for me than, <laughs> than the average person. But, uh, you know, when I did that and, you know, I would feel good when I ate it, which was cool, but, you know, it's, it's processed, it's fast food. I didn't want to be dependent on that and, you know, after some point you just kind of get sick of it and you don't get really any gratification for having it because it's the same every single time and you can get it whenever you want. It's kind of a luxury. And I never knew that I really needed that gratification until I actually tried cooking, you know, shortly after that. Now I've been single since that time, the seven years ago. Um, and it's likely that I will be for some time. Um, and even if I don't, um, I think it's important for me to understand 
you know, how to cook and, you know, not just pop in frozen things all the time, um, to how to make things from scratch. That's kind of what I think is important. That's, that's being self-sufficient and, you know, whether I'm, I'm single or not, that's something that I just need to learn. But one day after I was kind of settled into my place, um, I kind of had this thought like, well, yeah, doesn't I have that Pinterest with all those recipes on them? Like, why don't I use those? Why don't I just try leaping in now? I'm, I'm in my late 20s. Um, I need to just start, you know, being an adult <laughs> for real, for real. So I log into Pinterest for the first time in years and I see that a lot of things have changed. Uh, a lot of the pins that I had made back in those days, they were linked to websites that didn't even exist anymore. So what I decided is that I would try to look into some other things, but I didn't really know where to start. Well, luckily, the pins that I had had recommendations for other things that I might want to try. And so when I clicked on those, I had noticed that things had kind of changed on Pinterest in other ways too. Instead of having, you know, bulleted recipes um, where I had to read and, and figure out what utensils were used and certain processes, um, I started seeing that people had moved towards making videos on, you know, making video recipes. So what I saw is that people were not only listing the ingredients through video and t even telling me sometimes how much of each thing I needed, they were also showing me how to make it. And they were doing this in like one to two minutes, which is very easy for me to digest. I can see everything, I can see how it's done, and then it makes it easier and gives me more confidence when I actually go out and try to execute it. So with that, I decided to take the leap of faith and try cooking for real, for real. So I would post a lot of the process for how I would do a lot of these things um, when I was cooking. I would do every step and I would show like the different steps in making things um, well, before I put it in the oven or the air fryer or whatever I gotta do with it. Um, I also had to buy a lot of utensils, by the way, which was horrifying because <laughs> I did not realize how much stuff you, you need to cook and you know to cook properly or to cook you know efficiently and you know when I was watching these videos and I would see all this stuff being used I was like dude like I'm missing that I'm missing that I'm missing that I'm missing that 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 it was fun times but in addition to being visual I am also a person that is good with exact instructions so if you can tell me what I need and how much of it I need, I can repeat that every single time. I'm very good at following those things to the letter. You know, that made me a happy camper because then I could just follow that pattern every single time and I was good to go, happy camper. And that's kind of how I got the idea for this channel. It's nothing special. I'm, I'm just going to take my desire for cooking and combine it with my love for documenting my food and just combine those. Um, I still love taking pictures of my food. I still do it. Um, but now I can have the gratification that I was missing before of actually making the food, putting it together, doing all of the work, creating the mess. There will be lots of messes and mistakes, by the way. So um, I'm clumsy and, <laughs> and things fall and things break all the time. And that's, that's just what it is, but that's what makes cooking fun to me. So this will just kind of be my outlet for that. Now I'm gonna tell you now, you'll see that some of my cooking methods are not conventional. They're just not. I don't plan for most things. I usually just come home and look at a recipe for uh, something that I want on Pinterest and then see if I have this stuff. And then if I don't, I go to the store, grab what I need, come back and throw it all together and just kind of see what happens. That's, that's, that's kind of the energy that I have. I just like to go with the flow. Basically come home, find a recipe, get what I need, make it, destroy it, or my kitchen. One of those two, or both. We'll see. Now, if you see something you like, that's cool. Um, or if you have tips for how things can be done better um, for other people that may wanna try it, I am going to leave a link in the description to everything that I do, or at least the recipe that I'm using. It's mostly gonna be from Pinterest. So if you have Pinterest, it's gonna be lovely. You'll find that I'm very experimental and it's just, the way that I am and it'll be an adventure. So this is really for me to just document something that I love doing already. And you wanna join me on it? Awesome. All right, thanks everybody. See you later.